What is going on guys welcome back in this video today I just want to show you guys an interesting website which I found recently where you can see which large language models are currently performing the best so let us get right into it. All right, so this is going to be a more casual video today. We're not going to learn about a new concept. We're not going to learn about a technology or tool. We're going to learn about this website here. And it's more of a thing that I want to share with you guys than an actual tutorial, because I think this website is very interesting and it can be very useful, for example, when deciding which large language model to use for your next project. The idea of this website, of this leaderboard or of this platform is that it's a crowdsourced evaluation platform for large language models. So you can see down here in the table, this is not the current uh, ranking, but the structure here is you have a rank, you have the model and you have an ELO rating. So the whole ranking is ELO based and the rating itself happens uh, or, or is the result of user votes and you can vote yourself. We're going to talk about this here in a second. So as I said, these are not the current results. We can click here on the latest and detailed version here and we can get the current ranking uh, as of right now, when I'm recording this video on January 29th, you can see that this is the current ranking. And you can see that the current model or the current top model is GPT-4 Turbo. Uh, BART made a huge jump a couple of days ago, I think two days ago or something like that. Uh, and the best um, open source model here is Mixtral. So eight times seven billion instruct. Uh, yeah, basically a mixture of experts. Uh, architecture here. And then we also have Mistral Medium. It's proprietary, but it's from the same company as Mistral. Um, and yeah, this is the ranking that you can use, for example, to see, okay, I want to, let's say I have a project, I want to utilize an LLM to, you know, I want to fine tune it, I want to employ it in some use case, which one is the best, and maybe I want to say, okay, which one is the best, which is open source, in this case, I would go with Mistral. Uh, if I just want to have the best, I would go in this case with GPT-4. But maybe I have different requirements as well, or I don't trust some of the organizations. If you don't trust one of the organizations, you want to get the top organization or the top model. Uh, or if you only trust, for example, one organization, you might want to say, okay, I want to have the best model from Google because I only trust Google, for example, uh, or I only trust Mistral, something like this. Uh, so this is what you can use this ranking for. The interesting part is you can actually participate in the project, you can contribute your vote at chatlmsys.org. So you will find a couple of links in the description down below. Um, and the idea is that you can ask a prompt. So you can ask something and you will get two responses and you will not know which one comes from which large language model, you will just get two responses. And then you can decide which one is better. So for example, I can give you a classic uh, prompt here. Who or what is neural nine? for example. And some models actually have a very good answer to that. And some models do not have a very good answer to that. So I was already called a guy named Marcus that owns the channel. Okay, this guy doesn't even know. Oh, actually, it revealed the name. So this is actually a special use case, because it says here, uh, in the rules that the vote won't be counted if model identity is revealed during conversation. So in this case, this would actually happen. So what I have to do now is I have to start a new round, I'm going to ask the same question, who or what is neural nine. And the reason it's not counted, of course, is that you don't want a model, you don't want to vote for a model, or you don't want users to vote for a model just because they like it, or because they support a company or something like this. Um, there you go. So the right side, the model on the right side says here that there is no concept known as neural nine to the model. The left side here says it's an educational brand focusing on programming, machine learning and computer science in general. Now, this is just one app, uh, one, one example of what you could ask here, you could also ask some multiple choice questions and see which one performs better. You're also not limited to just uh, one answer or one question, you can have a conversation as long as you want, uh, you just should not reveal the model. So you should not ask them all what it is, because then you would, you know, disqualify yourself from from the voting process here. But in this case, now I would vote for the left side, I suspect that this is GPT four. Uh, it's very good, actually. Uh, I don't know what the right side is going to be. But when it's done generating here, I'm going to have the choice to say, left is better, right is better, or I can say both are bad. Uh, I'm not sure if I can say it's a tie. But um, 
let's wait for this to finish if you can provide more context about yeah okay so it sounds very much like gpt4 so you can see now i can say a is better b is better i can say it's a tie or both are bad in this case obviously a is better and now it's going to tell me okay this was actually bart okay i didn't think that this was going to be bart uh, and this is something i've never heard of vicuna or something like that way better so this is actually is, isn't this the second yeah it's that model okay i can understand why it's ranked so highly because it basically gave me the same output that i would expect from gpt4 it's very powerful so bart seems to be quite good at least this version uh and you can do that over and over again if you want to contribute to this uh leaderboard to the whole system um the calculation itself as i said is based on the elo rating system so you can scroll down here and you can see the actual formula um or where is it actually Oh, I found it here. I had to go to a different site because I think I clicked on, where did I click on? Yeah, I clicked on LMSYS chatbot arena, and then you're redirected to this page. And here you can see the calculation. So basically it says that player A already has a rating of RA, player B has a rating of RB, player here in this case is the model. Um, and this is the, what was it? This is the expected value, I think. And this is the update rule. So basically, the new rating for A is gonna be calculated by doing this, um, this updating rule here, which also includes the expected score and the actual uh, actual scored points. I'm not sure what K is, uh, but yeah, this is, this is the basic idea here. You have the same rating system, I think in chess and also in some other games, but this is how these models are rated. They basically compete because they have to um, operate on the same user prompt, they, get, uh, they give their output and then one wins based on the user vote or they have a tie or something like that. And this is how these models are evaluated. And I think this is quite useful because it always shows you which of these models currently performs best. You can make a decision based on that and you can also uh, you know, participate in that because as I said, it's crowdsourced. It's uh, an open platform where you can have, uh, where you can basically contribute and everyone contributes and then you get a representative result here. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.